friends, welcome to Kids Worship at Canyon Creek Presbyterian Church. I'm Miss Emily, Director of Children's Ministries, and today, Pastor Chris is here again to visit. <laughs> Hello. All right, so let's get started and let's head to a worship song. We'll see you there. Like I really like, I like scary stuff. Do I don't, you? I, yeah, like Halloween's okay, but I really like scary stuff. Like I'm, Halloween's like take or leave for me, but I really like scary stuff. Scary movies, yes. Okay, well, see, I'm kind of the opposite. I love Halloween, but I like all the fun, festive, like a little bit creepy and stuff, but not scary, not actually scary stuff. I don't know. I like the fun but, part. I'm a little confused, so. So you like Halloween, but you don't like scary stuff. Isn't like scary stuff and Halloween like the same thing? No, it's not, not necessarily. No, there's a lot of cute, like festive things about Halloween. Yeah. Really? Really. Oh, for I sure. thought the whole point was to be scared. No. Well, for some people, it depends. Oh my gosh, I have to tell you this one story. So, because I think Halloween is supposed to be scary, right? So, I remember one year I was passing out candy, and I did this little game. 
I disguised myself on my front porch. This is back in our old house, North Carolina. And I used an old curtain that we didn't uh, like, you know, use anymore. But it blended in with the brick on the house. So there was a chair set up and I had the basket of candy in my lap. And so I had the, the sheet over my, and no one could actually see me. Like it just looked like a chair sitting there. And I remember this one time, these real little kids, they were dressed up, I think they were Power Rangers. And they came up and they, and my house was sort of like on this hill. And they came up and grabbed uh, candy out of the, the bowl. And I just said, as soon as they reached in, I said, happy Halloween. And they went running down. <laughs> and a couple like slid down the hill, a couple parents left. I mean, they ran away. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was just awesome. Like, and, and the, I mean, they were, I think they were genuinely scared. Yeah, probably. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much me and Halloween. Okay. Well, that's fun. Just saying. I mean, that's a fun, that's a fun, that's a fun scary. Anyway. It is. All right. So, <laughs> thinking um, about scary stuff got me thinking about bravery. Um, Pastor Chris, did you know that there are more than one, there's more than one type of bravery? I didn't know that. <laughs> I thought there was just like being brave, because I'm I'm, because I'm brave. Cause I'm not really scared of anything. Right. Like period. Actually, I am scared of two things. There's two things I'm scared of. I'm scared of the Cowboys ever winning a Super Bowl mm -hmm. and having to listen to people like tell me the Cowboys won the Super Bowl. Right. And I'm also scared of shots. Oh. Yes. Okay. So how many of you like getting shots? I I mean I don't like to this day. Um, I don't like to get shot. So like when I go to the doctor's office to get any sort of shot. I have to turn my head, I have to close my eyes, and I have to count to 10. But, and I have to take a deep breath before I go, one, and then 10, and I have to let it out. So I'm scared of the Cowboys winning the Super Bowl and getting shots. Okay. <laughs> well, I might not like scary Halloween, but I can handle shots. So. Just saying. Oh. Uh, not my thing. But anyway, so the, the type of bravery I wanted to talk to you guys about today is spiritual bravery. What's spiritual bravery? All right. Well, I found a really cool article um, on a website called Lion's Whiskers. Lion's Whiskers. I'll link it in the description box so you guys can check it out. Um, and they talk about different types of bravery. And it says that spiritual courage fortify, fortifies us as we ask questions about purpose and meaning. You know, like the really tough questions. Like, what is the meaning of life and what happens after we die? The really hard questions. Um, but since you're a pastor, I'm sure you already know the answers to all those hard questions. No? Nope. Yeah. All right. Well, um, I think everybody can use a little bit of spiritual courage from time to time, even pastors, because there are those tough questions that um, none of us know the answers to, right? And with spiritual courage, it means accepting that we are unlikely to find exact answers, but asking them anyway, and letting ourselves um, be vulnerable to um, feeling a little bit uncertain about those things. It's, it's so funny, just as you were sitting there talking about that, mm -hmm. guess what I came up with? What? Just guess, I'm a pastor. A Bible verse? Bible verse. I got yes. one. I got a Bible verse. This is going to be, I got one. Perfect. So, all right, here we go. This is Joshua chapter one, verse nine. Hear this. It's important. I, God, hereby command you, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. That was perfect. I know. It's handy to have a pastor around sometimes. That's right. That was amazing. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, that uh, Bible verse helped remind us that God is with us to help us be courageous all the time, whether we're feeling scared from creepy stuff or shots <laughs> or the Cowboys winning or from serious questions about life that can be kind of, kind of scary to think about. I agree with you. Great. Okay, well, this has been awesome. And next, we are going to do a little bit more Halloween celebrating in our game room. So I have some surprises for Pastor Chris that he doesn't even know about yet. So we're going to head there for some Halloween fun, and we'll see you there.
All right, guys, we are here in our game room, ready for a Halloween game. But I don't know. I'm not sure that we're quite ready. No, we are not. All right, let's do some Halloween magic. One, two, three. All right, that's better. That's right. <laughs> yeah, if you um, saw Pastor Chris's last visit to Kids Worship, you'll know how he feels about pizza. So it was the only costume that made sense for him. It's making me hungry. Yeah. It's my costume. Yeah. All right, well, let's play a game. Let's hear the music. Okay, so for our Halloween game, we're doing another minute to win it kind of challenge. But we have Halloween crazy straws, which we will be attempting to use like chopsticks. And with our crazy straw chopsticks, we'll be picking up these teeny tiny little plastic spiders that I found and dropping them into our cup, okay? And we will see who can get the most. All right, let's see. Are you ready? Go. Dad, come on. stated that you are to use both straws uh -huh. that is exactly what I heard and you explicitly said at the end that technique did not matter mm -hmm. both straws met each spider mm -hmm. at the same time and made it to the cup okay well if you play at home make sure your rules are more clear because it's it's two straws in one hand that's the rule <laughs> so I don't know who won I'm fairly sure Sure, I won because I use my straws as actual chopsticks. All right, well, try it out. See if you can find some stuff around at your house and try some fun Halloween games with your family at home. Okay, we are back with Pastor Chris's second surprise and a little panda bear helper who wanted to take part also. Hi. So, if you guys watched Kids Worship the last time Pastor Chris was on, he talked about pizza a lot. Pizza, hands down. Pizza, all kinds. Pizza, 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 milkshake pizza. And they have really good pizza at the zoo. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Like a lot. Um, he also talked about strawberry ice cream and milkshake pizza and eating ice cream on pizza. So since we had him back here again and we're having fun, um, we decided we absolutely had to get him strawberry ice cream and pizza so that he can eat them together. Yeah. So who is, is, are either of you going to put your ice cream on your pizza? Yeah. No. Let's see. Mm. You got to paint it like a, you got to paint it like a canvas. Yeah. See? Yeah, there Bob Ross. There you go. Okay. Struggling. The panda's struggling. Oh my god. There, I did it. This is scary now. Don't say. Now you gotta take a big bite. <laughs> Don't say it's good. That's ridiculous. This is awesome. Did you paint it on there? Did you get a nice help? Just paint it, man. Just paint it. Yeah. It's so good. I know it is. Trust me. <laughs> All right, well. These crazy people, we made it happen. Uh, I mean, I think this is pretty close to milkshake pizza. It's strawberry ice cream pizza, but pretty similar to milkshake pizza. So I guess there's the proof you really will eat it. <laughs> so, this is more than pizza and ice cream. I'm so a little panda. This is paradise. Okay. <laughs> it is, you can't On the plate. Pizza. In your mouth. Yeah. Sure. All right, well, I've had fun. I've had a wonderful time. <laughs> Same here. 
Oh, crazy people. All right, well, maybe you guys will try it at home. If you do, let us know how it goes. Next, we're gonna go to a worship song. We'll see you there. I'm not dancing, I'm eating. they talked about in the article that I mentioned, um, be sure to have your parents help you uh, get to that article from the link in the description box and have them help you read it um, so you can learn more about it. All right, now, Pastor Chris, could you pray for us before we Absolutely. go? Absolutely. Let us pray. Dear God, there is so much in this world that can make us scared. Be with us and always let us know that though things can sometimes be scary, remind us that you are always with us. 
that you walk alongside us and that you hold us in those times when we feel scared. Help us to be courageous, but not just courageous by ourselves, courageous because you are our God. And we thank you for being our God. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, thanks for being here. No problem. I will see you guys next week.